Hey, this is Mikey Borup here with another After Effects tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to create a bar graph that grows or shrinks, and it's all 3D using Element 3D. Now, there's some kind of a cool trick that I've discovered using Element 3D on how to create animated masks that actually animate in Element 3D, and let me show you how to do it. So first, let's create a new solid. So a new solid, and let's call this bar graph. Okay, and let's create another solid. Let's change the color of this, and we'll call this outline. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create just a simple one bar graph, and I'm going to put it in a nice outline and maybe have some text with it kind of thing. So let's, on this white solid, I'm going to just quickly create kind of a border. And this second mask I'm going to set to subtract. And so this is what I have so far. Now let's hide that. Let's bring up this other one. And I want to just create a, a mask about yay big. And let's create one more. new solid and have yet another mask. Okay, so let's turn them all on. And this is kind of what I have. Let's let's go in and kind of make things look a little bit nicer. So go into the mask path of each of these. And you want to use move the path, not the position itself of of you know of the layer. So let's go back into the mask path on this as well. Okay. Now I want to animate these. So maybe the yellow bar is starts high and the red bar starts low and they and they they reverse. So to do that, let's go into first the red bar. Let's go to the mask path. I keyframed it and then I'm just going to stick that at the end because I want it to be tall at the end and start short. So I just clicked off and then I grab that top and I'm going to do this, bring it down so it starts short and you can see that animates up and we'll just do the reverse on the yellow bar. Animates down. And let's, for some good measure, put in some text. So maybe this says lameness. Let's change the font. And awesomeness. So, lameness is going down, awesomeness is going up. Now let's let's bring this into element and have these all extruded into 3D and kind of set up the whole thing so everything moves correctly. So let's grab yet another new solid layer. We'll call this element. Let's change the color. Go ahead and put this in the bottom. And let's go ahead and hide all of these for now. So let's add the element effect. And let's go into the custom layers. So custom layer one, let's have that be the outline. Custom layer two, the yellow bar graph, then the red bar graph for three, and then let's have the text be on layer four. Let's go into the scene setup. So what I've got four layers. I've got the outline, the two bar graphs, and the text. So I need to hit extrude four times. On this top one, that's already set to custom path one. That's good. 
and let's have it on group one. So second one, let's have it on group two, custom path two. Third one, custom path, path three, group three. Fourth one, custom path four, and group four. Okay, also on this one, let's, let's uh, fix the extrusion. It's a little bit funny. There we go. So if we take a quick look, everything's just kind of wherever. And that's not going to work. So let's go back into the scene setup. And on all of these, let's go in and where it says auto preset scale, turn that off. And then where it says under transform, normalize size, turn that off as well. And then anchor point, we want to be at the bottom. And I need to do that for all of these. Okay, click OK. And now things are starting to look a little bit better. They're not quite in the right spot, but we can adjust that. So let's go into first group one. Let's go to the particle look, particle size. Let's bring that down. Let's see what it looks like at four. Okay, that's pretty good. And then the position, bring down 1045. Now let's add that to all of the others as well. So I've got it in here, but they don't seem to be moving. And the reason why is because element will only show what's there. And since there's no movement, it's not refreshing. It's not refreshing uh, what's, you know, what it shows in 3D. So I need to force it or trick it into refreshing every frame. And the easiest way to do this is to add a new camera. And then let's go in and let's change the rotation. I like the Y rotation. And over the course of the composition, let's just change it really small. So small that you're not going to even notice that it's rotating. But because it does that, now it's refreshing every single frame because it notices there's a change in the camera. And then as it sees the change in the camera, it goes, oh, wow, now my mask is in a different spot. So it refreshes the mask. And now what I have here is some 3D movement. So now I can go in here and just change the orientation. Right? And it's still going to animate. Now I can see here my outer edge is not quite right. So let's go back into my element scene setup. And that is group one. And what I want to do here is go down where it says fix holes. Click on where it says fix holes. And let's also give this a lot deeper extrusion. Let's go up to 15. So now I've got kind of this box where these graphs are growing in. So let's make them all all of the extr extrusions bigger. So let's go to my next bevel. And I'm bringing these up to 10. All right. So let's add some nice color to this. So bevel one. I like to take just this paint preset and then change the colors here. And that's looking pretty good. Let's go back to the, to the scene setup, bevel two. Let's do a different color for this one.
So now we have yellow and red. Now I can see here, I've got some weirdness going on with with my words. So let's fix that. Go back into element, scene setup. Now let's click on the model. Let's go here, fix holes, spike filter, and that fixed it. Okay, let's add a background to this. I'm not fond of it, just the black. But I'm not too picky. Let's do the light gray. Now, we need to go and change some other things. So let's change this outline. Shiny black. That's going to look pretty cool. And let's change the words colors. Okay. So there is how to do 3D graphs that actually move using Element 3D. So the key thing to remember here is the camera trick. So I just went in and on the rotation I changed it from rotating in the Y direction at 0 degrees to 0 0.01 you can't see it it's so small degrees but that's enough of a change that it forces element to refresh and relook at the data that it's feeding for each frame and then it notices there's a change and it will then change the graph so that's the tutorial now there's some really cool stuff you can do with this and I want to see what you're doing so if you've got a really great example of using this trick Please share it with me, put it as a video response, and I'll make sure it's live and so everyone else can see it as well. Or if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And if this is something that helped you out, I'd appreciate it if you share this video with others so everyone can learn from this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.